percussion percussion is most beneficial when it combines with pd position here we performed percussion for entire segment of left upper lobe hand should be in cup shape with finger and thumb adapted rate should be 100 to 480 times per minute vibration it involves gentle and high frequency force here we performed vibration for entire segment of left upper lobe hand should be side by side or on top of one another vibration should be performed during expiration phase now ask the patient to take a deep breath in then perform gentle but steady co contraction of the upper extremities during expiration shaking shaking is more vigorous in nature here we perform shaking for lower lobes now place your hands over lower thoracic cage then ask the patient to take a deep breath in and shaking should be performed during expiration phase inhale through nose and exhale through mouth during inspiration chest should be relaxed and abdomen should be expanded hold for 2 to 3 seconds then exhale through mouth second phase thoracic expansion exercise This phase focused on active inspiration and passive expiration. Patient position sitting. Patient should be relaxed. Now place your both hands over lower thorax. Then take a long deep breath through nose. Hold for 2 to 3 seconds and then exhale through mouth. third phase post expiratory technique this technique is combination of breathing control and huffing patient position relaxed sitting now place your hand in front of your mouth now take a medium breath in hold for 2 to 3 seconds then exhale through mouth and extended expiratory flow with float is open perform this 2 to 3 times <coughs> here we going to perform autogenic drainage this technique includes three phases patient position sitting or supine neck should be in slight extended Now place your one hand over your chest and other on abdomen. 
first phase and C. Now inhale through your nose at tidal volume, then hold for 2 to 3 seconds and exhale with highest flow. Repeat this for 1 to 2 times. Use abdominal breathing pattern. Before going to collect phase, make sure patient feels the secretions moving upwards. Second phase, collect. Now take a breath at higher lung volume. Hold for 2 to 3 seconds. And then exhale. This both phases to be repeated several times till secretions is felt more proximally. Third phase, evacuate. Now take a breath at higher lung volume. Hold for 2 to 3 seconds. And then mucus expectorated by a hug or a gentle cough. Eka pela, patient position is sitting. Take a normal breath in. Hold for 2 to 3 seconds and exhale through the device. Repeat this procedure 10 times or more. Then increase the resistance. Increase the more resistance. Then make a cough or huff to clear secretion. Repeat this cycle until secretion are clear from the lung. Patient position sitting or sideline. Ask the patient to hold the device in front of your mouth. First, exhale fully through your mouth. Then place the mouthpiece pyrometer in your mouth. Make a good seal around mouthpiece with your lips. Now inhale slowly and deeply. This will rise the bowl into chamber. Try to hold the bowl. Patient position, sitting or sideline. Ask the patient to hold the device in front of your mouth. First, exhale fully through your mouth. Then place the mouthpiece pyrometer in your mouth. Make a good seal around mouthpiece with your lips. Now, inhale slowly and deeply. This will rise the bowl into chamber. Try to hold the bowl. Patient position, sitting or sideline, ask the patient to hold the device in front of your mouth. First, exhale fully through your mouth. Now place the mouthpiece pyrometer in your mouth. Make a good... Now inhale slowly and deeply. Try to hold. Patient position, sitting or sideline. Ask the patient to hold the device in front of your mouth. First, exhale fully through your mouth. Then place the mouthpiece pyrometer in your mouth. Make a good seal around mouthpiece with your lips. Now, inhale slowly and deeply. This will rise the piston in the chamber. Try to hold the piston. 